Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. We are now starting with the individual phylums in Animal Kingdom and after discussing the general features of that phylum, we'll take certain important examples belonging to it. So the first one is Porifera. Porifera is the phylum which includes organisms or animals which have porous body. Now let us talk about certain general features. They are diploblastic, that means The body develops from only two germ layers. They show cell aggregate body plan. That means the body is made up of just cells aggregated together. Now we will talk about all these parts and let us first draw the basic plan and then we will see various different types. In case of sponges, the body is vast shaped and they are attached to the substrata. Now this is the complete wall of the body and as we said that the body has many pores. So if we see a section we would find many pores here. So these openings which we are showing here these are tiny pores all over the body these are known as ostia. And these pores are the inlet pores. That means from here the water is going to go in. And there is a terminal opening which is known as the oscula. And this is the outlet pore. That means from here the water is going to go out. And there is a cavity here in the middle. This cavity is known as spongiosine. And this cavity acts as a common space for the food which is going to come here for that as well as for gaseous exchange. So when we say porous body, that means that these are the pores that we are talking of. Sponges are found in ocean. They are muddy. But here is an exception. Except spongula. Spongula is a fresh water sponge. That means all sponges are marine except spongula which is found in fresh water. Now when we talk of diploblastic that means they develop from two germ layers. So let us first enlarge a piece of the body wall to see where these various layers and cells are present. So we are trying to enlarge say this much part so that we are able to see the pore also. So if this is the body wall and here is the pore that is this is the one which we are talking of. This is the outer layer and he, here is the inner layer. So this outer layer is made up of flat cells and this layer is known as Pinacoderm. The cells which are found here they are known as pinacocytes. So these flat cells which we have drawn here are pinacocytes and the complete layer is known as pinacoderm. The inner layer this space which we are showing here is the spongocele. Now before we draw the second type of cell, we need to understand one more very important thing that sponges, they show canal system. And these canal systems are of three types. First, ascon type of canal system. The second one is known as sicon type of canal system. And third is known as the leucon type of canal system and these canal systems are based on 
the location of the collar cells or coenocytes. That means these cells are pinacocytes and there are co collar cells which are called coenocytes. So coenocytes or which are called the collar cells, these collar cells they are spherical or oval cells and at one end they have a projection which is collar like. So this is the one which is called the collar and they have a flagellum. So these are collar cells or coenocytes. Now in this canal system these co coenocytes are arranged in different areas. For example if we talk about these three systems we will find that coenocyte arrangement is unique. In case of ascron type, coenocytes line spongiosi. That means coenocytes are going to be present here, lining the spongiosi. In case of cyclone type, coenocytes line radial canals. And radial canals means these canals which we see all along the body, those are radial canals. That means here in this part we will see those cells. And leucon type is coenocytes line flagellated chambers. There are some depressions which are flagellated and this is the place where coenocytes are found. So here we are talking about the coenocytes which are lining the spongiosi. So if we make the coenocytes here, these are the collar cells. So this is how the arrangement is going to be. So these are the collar cells or coenocytes. So this layer will be termed as the coenoderm. So this layer is coenoderm. The outer one is pinacoderm, the inner one is coenoderm, but the coenocytes will change. It can be here also depending upon the type of canal system. In this area we find there are long cells which line this opening. Now these long cells they are known as the pore cells. They are called pore cells. So outer layer is made up of flat pinacocytes, the inner spongioseal is lined with coenocytes and the canals here they are lined with long cells which are called the pore cell. The area between these two membranes is filled with a gelatinous material which is known as the mesoglia. So this is the part where we have mesoglia. In mesoglia, there is water and collagen. So this is mainly made up of water in which collagen fibers are present. Apart from these two things, that is collagen and water, here we find that there are some irregular cells and these irregular cells are called the amoebocytes. Amoebocytes perform various functions like they are the ones who are going to secrete the collagen fiber. Amoebocytes will help in defense. Amoebocytes will also help in transfer of digested food. That means they are the ones which are going to perform all activities. And in this mesoglia region itself, we would find the endoskeleton. So here in mesoglia, the endoskeleton is also present. Now endoskeleton is again of two types. It can be in the form of spicules. These are pointed needle like structures or it could be in the form of spongin fibers. Spicules can be made up of two things. They can be made up of calcium carbonate or they can be made up of silicic acid. So, the
the spicules which are made up of calcium carbonate they are known as calcareous spicules and the ones which are made up of silicic acid they are known as siliceous spicules and this is made up of spongin protein so this is soft just the thread work whereas these two that is the spicules these are needle like structures so if we make these spicules which can be unbranched or branched suppose i make a spicule which is a needle like structure it is unbranched and we make one more which is a branched structure same thing here we can make a branched spicule here and unbranched so let us label this thing as the spicule and depending upon the type of sponge these spicules can be calcareous or siliceous because fiber porifera is further classified into classes and which are on the basis of this exoskeleton uh, sorry endoskeleton so the ones which have ca the calcium carbonate spicules they are known as calcarea so this is how this classification is done now how is the spongin fiber spongin fibers that is these proteins they make network so these are just the fibers which are there spicules are needle like and pointed whereas these fibers they just make thread like network so let us label this also this is the spongin fiber in bath sponge that is u spongia only spongin fibers are present and that is why we are able to use this u spongia for bathing purpose we will talk about this later also so when we talk about the wall this is what is visible to us let me make few more coanocytes here these are the collar cells here they are lining the spongiosine and depending upon the type of canal systems we can have these coanocytes in different areas they can be in spongiosile or lining the spongiosile right lining the radial canals or in the flagellated chambers so this is what is the structure of the body wall it has an outer layer of pinacocytes the layer is known as pinacoderm the inner layer is made up of coanocytes and it is known as coanoderm if the cells are here the coanocytes then we would say that they are lining the radial canal so this is the basic structure which is visible to us when we see the enlarged part of the body wall sponges when we talk in general of those they are hermaphrodite that means it is the same organism which is going to have both the sex organs so that means they show sexual reproduction also now in the next part we'll talk about the modes of reproduction digestion excretion which is seen in case of spawn